It is time now for us to saddle up and uh, head halfway around the world and go to Jaisalmer, India, and bring in none other than Arjun Singh. Hello, Arjun. How are you today? Good. I'm fine from the scorching heat. It's 100 and I think it's good because a couple of days before yesterday, it was about 120, but it's, it's 110 today. You made the news at 123. I'm not sure it was you, but there, there was some. Yeah, 122. It was 122, yeah, a couple and was, of days before. And was that where you are or was that? Uh... No, exactly where I was there, uh, exactly at that time, just in the middle of the town. And at that time, it was a red alert and... Uh, uh, we can listen the people from the administrations and telling to everyone just don't go out of the home, stay in the shade, drink a lot of water. So it was a red alert. And in just in the afternoon, it was more than 122, but of course not in the city, but in, in the in the dunes there, which is about 40 kilometers or 40 to 50 kilometers far from the city. But at that at that time, the city, it was in the afternoon temperature was about exactly 122, and it broke all the old records. And I think the, that was the hottest day uh, of the year. And uh, everybody, everybody was just because of the social media and all those things. And so... Uh, the roads were clearly empty, no vehicles, no cycles, no bicycles, no cars, and for the whole day, because I saw lots of uh, pictures on the on the social media, like on WhatsApp and Facebook and everywhere. So that day was really a horrible day. And uh, the only thing is that uh, the animals also were just running like dogs and cows. They were running for here and there for the shades and because they were not getting it. And uh, we have lots of stray dogs and street cows. So that was a big problem for uh, for the day. But in the evening, it was quite okay. But even at midnight, right at 1 or 2 a.m. when I woke up and I just checked and uh, I went in a bathroom and I opened the tap and I could feel the hot water even at that time, hot water, because we have plastic tanks and kept on the rooftop and water starts boiling. So really that was the extreme and scorching heat uh, for last uh, 9 to 10 days as I think it started on 25th or 26th and then till 3rd or 4th it was it was really hot but now I think we have some sandstorms I can see the dust and sand in this uh, just uh, in the sky there and it's not clear the vision is not clear though it's not uh, Vision is clear, but I think it's good for us because it's not as hot as it was a couple of days before. So I just checked uh, the weather predictions, and I think uh, uh, it's not going to be as hot as it was, and the weather is changing. But still, we are very, very far from the monsoon because it starts the Kerala from the South India, and it will take a lot of time. And as I came to know that the beginning of the July, then we can have some uh, rain at that time. So we have still whole one month. Uh, to just tolerate this extreme heat. And my memory is obviously not not so great, but did it ra- didn't it rain last year earlier than usual or was it later than you? It, it was not at the usual time. Yes, it, it started because at that time, at the end of the June, uh, we got a good water at that time. So it, last year we were more, more very fortunate at that time and uh, it came a little earlier. But this time, as we know, because uh, the monsoon, sometimes we, we just know that the monsoon is in, uh, it's coming uh, earlier, and sometimes we get the information that it's coming late. But this time, we have the two negative information that one, it is coming late, and one, it's not, uh, the, it's less than an average, which is, I think, not a good information for the people who are living here, especially for the farmers and animals. And we have a canal that we get the water from. Uh, Himalayas, but during this this weather, uh, during the sand storms, it gets filled with the sand, and then there's a problem even for the farmers. So really, uh, it's not a good news right now. As I checked, uh, that the monsoon monsoon is a bit slow and it's not on time. Uh, but I think uh, miracles always happen in this area. As I told you once in my show, that my grandparents, whenever I told them that it's hot, so my father used to, my grandpa used to tell me that if you are born in Jaisalmer, don't say it's hot, and when I, whenever I told him that it's an area where, where there's nothing, no no farming, no agriculture, then he always told me that the miracles happen because he struggled all of his life. And uh, so he told me that the farmers, they just uh, don't look at the predictions or not at the weather, but they look at the God and they just go into the temples and pray and they get the water. Hopefully, uh, the farmers and the animals, especially because people believe these animals, the silent 
animals, sil silent creatures and their prayers, they just go to the God and they get a water. But right now, if you see a small bird in the, uh, just in, in the, the street somewhere, it's doing nothing, just running towards where, where it can see a small drop of water. Even the dogs in the streets, we uh, all the dogs are just near the drainage because there they can get a little bit of water and they can sit there. So uh, worst time for, for the animals, uh, especially for the human beings, it's okay because they can have all kinds of facilities like, uh, like uh, coolers and refrigerators and they are pet safe. But uh, when we talk about the animals, because lots of people, they, they think of their own, but whenever I just go out, my first look, it goes towards the dogs and cows and the animals and the birds there. And I always think about it. The same way I talk to the girder, we got a uh, small pot filled with the water. We keep it every day on the rooftop. And the next day when we go, when we go there, we don't find the water. I'm sure it, maybe it's a, uh, just because of the heat, we don't get it back. But I'm sure the birds, they come even at the night and they drink water. Same things. I got a very interesting I saw the picture of some monkeys, uh, you know, which is not in Jaisalmer, of course, but in Jodhpur and Jaipur, there are some monkeys near the temples because there are some some trees there. But the first time, the monkeys, they are just sitting near the taps. They are not just going on the trees. They are doing nothing. So that is the extreme heat, scorching heat. It looks like the sun has come down on earth. It's a tough time for the people, but hopefully uh, just a month and then we will get some water. Well, we will. Uh, we won't go to temple necessarily, but we will think in terms that uh, that you do get it. We will hope and pray. Is, is there anything, Marshall? I don't know what we have for time. We got another couple of minutes. Is there anything else that you want to? Uh... Yeah. Yes, now as uh, we have our schools always reopens on 19th of June, but this time it's it reopens on 1st of June for the school staffs, like for the teachers, the schools are are going to open on 24th of June, but we will just do all the other works like uh, registrations and other office work, but the students are coming to the school this year on 1st of July, which is good for them, especially for the students who come from far remote villages and small hamlets. So I think it's a good for us, uh, for, for all of us, that it's a good news that the students are bit, they have 10 days more off, which is really good for them just because of that hot weather. And then we have our new session that starts first of first of July, and all the results uh, have been declared. Even in my school, there were there were 21 students in uh, secondary class, like in 10th grade, and one of them uh, failed, and three of them they got supplementary, like they have to just go for the re-exams uh, in two subjects, like in mathematics and science. And 17 got passed, I think, which is a good result for all of us. And even in English, all the students are passed. Even the failure one is passed in English. So all the results have declared. Girdhar is ready for his uh, new session because he is very excited. He is very happy because he is going to represent as a head boy in the school where the 1,700 students are there. So we are waiting the day when we will go again to the school and we will keep ourselves busy again. So that's the way we will forget a bit about the hot weather. Otherwise, every time thinking about this warm weather. Thank you very much, Arjun Singh. We will talk to you next week. Take care, Arjun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> well, that is Around the World with Arjun Singh here on Robin Hood Radio. Of course, you can hear uh, Arjun online, RobinHoodRadio.com. Click on On Demand. Click on Around the World with Arjun Singh.